So if you're near Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, we have something here called Flash Food. Um, they have it mostly at giant stores and basically you get stuff for half price before it goes into the trash. And it's fantastic and I use it all the time. Um, we have lots. I, it sounds like they kind of pioneered it here, um, like our area and maybe Philly-ish area. So um, we're fortunate to have that as a resource for us. So I was able to get um, a bunch of bags of russet potatoes. So I got about 50 pounds for $18, which is a pretty good deal. Typically when we buy a 50 pound bag, even from the Amish around here, um, looking at 20 to 25. I mean, it's kind of been creeping up over the years. Um, but I just want to show you what I do. Like if I get a bunch of potatoes like this, um, obviously you can pressure can them if you're into that. Um, I'm not going to pressure can these just because I have a hundred other projects going on because it's the middle of July and that's how the middle of July is. So what I do is I go through the bags and if anything has any kind of, um, obviously mold, then it's out. Um, if anything is like super, super bruised, um, or it just looks kind of questionable in general, those are the ones that I'll keep upstairs. Um, if they have like mega sprouting, if they have like a tiny sprouting, sprout like that one I wouldn't get too worried about it um frankly we just cut off the sprouts if you know we're going to use it and it has sprouted um I don't know if that's like bad advice but that's what we do um so anyway I just go through these bags and see especially when I get them from flash food because they're you know they're probably close to date and that's why they're on flash food so I'm going to sort through all of these and put them in a crate so I can get good airflow we keep our um you know extra food in the basement so our basement usually even like with this heat wave we've had 100 degrees for several you know days in a row um the basement's still normally in the high 60s maybe in the winter um i mean it feels pretty good downstairs with no climate control um and in the in the winter i would say it's probably in the 50s it doesn't get super cold um so it's a block basement and it's perfect for storing food so anyway that's what we do so if you run on a haul of potatoes russets or white or red or whatever um sort through them pull out the ones that are maybe mushy or just a little close leave those upstairs use those in your short-term pantry um and then put your long-term potatoes in something with some airflow you can also put them in pantyhose tie them up and hang them that's a lot of work i'm not gonna do that i do do that for onions but not for potatoes um and this works great for us so um look for the deals on these kinds of things when they're uh, either they're in season or your stores clearancing things like that or whatever and that's the time to put this kind of stuff up